There is this joke around online that the real quality of code can be measured in what the fucks per minute. Means, how many what the fuck experience does another programmer has if he is looking at your code? The less what the fuck experience he gets during checking your code, the better your code quality. And exactly about this topic I wanted to make a video today. Code quality. Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of J Sparrow Star Programming. My name is Ben and in today's video we are going to talk about code quality. We will talk about what exactly code quality is, how we can measure it and how we can decrease the what the fucks per minute in our code if another programmer looks at it. Let's start with a simple topic. Mathematics, size and units play a great role in our everyday life. We often measure basic things like how fast is a car, how tall is a tree, how much weight did you gain during covid-based home office and so on. In order to make such comparisons, we need something to measure things. In our everyday life we have meters, kilograms, kilometers per hour and so on. Because we have those measurements, we can say a Ferrari is faster than a Volkswagen, a Volkswagen is slower than a Lamborghini and a Mercedes is more comfortable than a Toyota. So the question is, if we want to measure code quality and not estimate it by our guts or rumors, how do we proceed? What is the unity of code quality and what is our criteria to measure code quality? If we don't even know the unity of code quality, how can we even know a modification to our software was better than before, or even worse? First of all, to assess whether customer expectations are being met, quality metrics have to be used and for measuring and comparing code quality, we will need a quality model. A respected quality model is the ISO 25010. The good message is that we have a standardization of what code quality is composed of. Let's take a look at the ISO model. The criteria on the right hand side of the ISO model are external qualities, means this can be experienced by the end user. For example, a user can experience how fast the programming is running on his desktop or smartphone. He can also experience the aesthetics of your website, your graphical user interface, meaning if it looks beautiful and attractive or not. The criteria on the left side on the ISO model are internal qualities. Internal qualities means that you and your co-workers or company have to deal with the code and can experience it in different ways. Let's look for example at maintainability. You or the company you work for can measure the reusability of your code. This means can a code be still reused before you publish a big update or are code parts not usable anymore and need to be rewritten? Are you able to keep the code clean and short with good documentation so that new programmers who join your project at some point can easily work with it or is it a mess? Has the code been tested? Are there code smells, dead code or even hidden bugs? These are of course simple examples and you can dive much more into the topic but that however would go beyond the scope of this video and the most important thing is that you get to know what code quality is and how you can measure it. Let's now talk about the bad message on the ISO model. As you can see, there are still no questions answered on how to measure, what to measure and what metrics to use to identify good or bad software. So we have to be a little more practical about it. There is one general rule, quite similar to testing issues, it is always easier to find software defects, like code smells, technical debt, security leaks and in general, defects in your coding. Therefore, we focus more on measuring the lack of code quality than the actual code quality. Some units can be measured by a tool of formulas. For example, technical depth, code coverage for test cases, complexity, readability, performance and maintainability. And this tool of formulas can help you a lot to decrease the what the fucks per minute if you're introducing your code to another programmer. We at Chase Barrow made code quality and refactoring code our main business field in the programming world because that was simply the topic which accompanied us for years in our professional programming career. At this point I want to introduce you to a very special tool which you can use and which can increase your code quality by a lot, namely Captain J Sparrow, your Java refactoring partner. J Sparrow can review your source code and automatically refactor it for you. Therefore, you can remove code smell, dead code, find and fix bugs and also use Java best practices. We have already applied J Sparrow to a few open source projects and the result has been incredible. We saw J Sparrow fixing thousands of bugs and saving these open source projects thousands of hours and hundreds of thousands of dollars. There is a reason why thousands developers worldwide already use J Sparrow and let him refactor their code for them. 
The best part about JSparrow is that it is free to use. You can just drag and drop the install button to your Eclipse IDE or Maven environment and then use 20 of our most liked rules for an unlimited amount of time for free. If that sounds interesting to you and you want to improve your code quality, then definitely download the free version and check out the link in the video description. We also have an extensive documentation area on our website where you can look up how each of our code improving mechanisms is working and if you have a question, feel free to send us a direct message, we are always happy to answer it. With that in mind, I hope I could introduce you a bit more in the topic of how to measure code quality and I also hope that you will use Captain J Sparrow to increase your code quality. Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel because we are bringing a lot of programming related content regularly and if that's your thing, then definitely subscribe. For the rest, I wish you a wonderful day and have fun programming. Goodbye!